We don't want to rush here, so. Um, and then this material I get from Home Depot. This is like a uh, carpet underlayment. And it has a plastic strip or backing to it. Um, and you can actually pull it off. Uh, it's good. It's very. Th it's just enough thickness. Or you can get this material, which is even thicker material that goes under the carpet. I think this is more of like a. This might be a half inch thick. And um, some people use that around the, the windows and pillar areas, but I like the thinner stuff to go on the pillars, and the thicker stuff to go up into uh, the luggage compartment and whatnot. So basically, I'm cutting strips here. And I'm sealing off the back window so when I spray, the spray doesn't go and hit the car. Here's the 3M general adhesive. This stuff is really good. Just make sure you get the nozzle that has that uh, that little neck on it because it'll have more of a stream action to it than as opposed to the, the standard one that you normally see that is more of a spray, misty spray. So what I'm doing is basically just spraying around the window area and putting that padding down that I cut into strips. Now this is one way of doing it. I'm going to show you another way in a, in a little bit that actually might be easier and more preferred, but some people, you know, might want to do it this way. So I just cut it into strips and just stay clear of towards the opening where the headliner will actually uh, glue to that that lip that uh, the headliner around the opening of the window there's a lip there that you want free and clear for the headliner to glue to I'll show you that too so and then once I put it out here on the bottom I just cut it with an exacto knife make sure those blades are sharp and it's got just enough padding here's the other way of putting the padding around the back window which I kinda prefer you just cut a big square section this is on an oval uh, window sedan, not a rag top actually, but same same deal here. You can do it on the rag. Put the whole square section around the back window and glue it up and tighten it up all around. And then basically start gluing it to the opening. And then once you're satisfied, just get a nice sharp razor and just start cutting it away. Remember to save expose the area of that lip that's on the window opening there because you need the headliner to glue to that just like that and just pull it away and then the remainder if you need to patch any areas like I have out the bottom that I need to patch you can do that as well just take your time feel around make sure everything's down and then the remainder I had, I just basically patched it up on the bottom. Remember, the 3M adhesive is really good. I get that from Home Depot, too. Make sure also when you're doing this and you're using the glue, I forgot to mention, just make sure you have a mask because that stuff could be uh, pretty toxic. Make sure you're in a well-ventilated area, something with a fan maybe. Or you you know you can keep the garage door open or the windows open or whatnot. So then there's your back window area all done and padded up. Make sure to also keep the the padding free and clear. See here's that lip that I'm telling you about. You want to keep that clear because the headliner will glue to that. And then just above the window, then you can get that thicker piece that I was talking about um, that I also got from Home Depot. I bought a huge roll, 12 foot roll of that for like 20 bucks just cut it to section and put it up you can go to a store that's a, a VW shop that sells that stuff but you know it's cheaper to just get the whole roll from Home Depot now we're just around the window we're gonna this is the area that goes up along and glues down below there by the window and uh, eventually goes up along the top pillar just cutting some small strips here to put down and what I'm doing is is I'm putting the padding around the grippers because when you put the headliner in there and you finally hammer that down you don't want the teeth to be showing through uh, the headliner so that's why I put that padding there 
So first we're going to just start gluing it up until that, this point right here, right by where the, uh, the assist straps would be. I cut my strips and I glue it down. This is the thin stuff again. Just put that down, just massage it with your hand. Like I said, this is the type of material you have to take the plastic edging off, the plastic material that they have glued to it off the, the felt. And now you start moving upward towards the front area. Again, get the get the correct glue spray. You want the one with the, the, the correct nozzle on the front. If you buy the, the general spray, it's too misty and the glue just gets everywhere. This That 3M spray is more direct. cover a good portion of that pillar and this will give the headliner a nice posh look so it'll look kinda like a pillow you know it'll look nice and comfy <laughs> and then you glue all the way up and so you see that diagonal line right there where I'm, uh, I stopped gluing that's exactly where you want to go you don't want to go any further see see where the diagonal edge is that's where it has to glue it has to go diagonally up you see kinda where the the old uh, headliner was glued before, so you can tell where it's supposed to go. And I even I sometimes put the padding down on top of those grippers underneath it. I forgot to mention this before with the you know the dome light when you're ripping the headliner out. Just uh, when you take the dome out, uh, make sure those wires you tape them up and stuff them into the uh, the pillar there, so you get them later. And don't worry about it, we'll, we'll be able to find it. I'll do the same on the opposite side. Now this roll too, I think was about $20 for a whole roll, and it, it gets you very far. I think I did two or three bugs with this material. Now what I want to point out here is you want to be able to pull this up. This is what's great about this material, it stretches. Pull it up to the edge of the pillar. Because if you don't, and the headliner is getting put in there, you're going to see that line. And you don't want that. You want to make sure you are uh, nice and uniform. Because we would actually be gluing the headliner to this felt material. Now I'm basically just cutting some areas that had padding before. Um, I mean, you can over pad, um, but you want to be clear here of the, the window. Because, God forbid, somebody is uh, putting in pop out windows or whatnot. Um, you're going to want that free and clear. You don't want that uh, the latch to be you know, uh, stubborn getting in if it's, if it's hitting the padding or whatnot. And make sure you are free and clear also of the, the wheel well pump right there. This is the thicker material that I'm using. Again, I like twenty bucks, twenty thirty dollars. You get a whole roll of like twelve feet by six feet. Make sure you stay clear of that hole over there too that I was pointing out. That's where the stop goes for the backrest. So this is what I did. I mean, I went a little extra and put, um, you know, more padding in. You got to remember the headliner is going to get stuffed up there and it's going to be pulled down to the opening of the window. Now this area where the door pillar goes, where we're going to put the, uh, this is the first area that gets put in with the headliner. I just cut some strips of foam, and um, you can buy rolls of foam from uh, Walmart, and uh, it's like an inch thick, and I usually glue that on the door pillar section. But first, you're going to want to get that putty blade. Hopefully, one that you have one that's bent like this. They actually use this in the factory for uh, beetles back in the day when they did headliners you find a bend pulley putty blade and you pull those grippers out so you have enough clearance to insert the strip for the uh, wind lace stay clear of the area where the assist straps get mounted because you don't want to cover that with foam because it'll be difficult later on to put those screws in to mount the assist strap so what we're doing here we're just uh, gluing the foam onto the grippers 
Make sure you cover the grippers pretty well too, because again, just like the rear grippers on around the back window, you want some padding there, so when you pull the headliner around it, you don't want to see the teeth through the headliner. Now you don't have to do this, I did this for a little extra padding, but um, I put some of the area where the assist straps go. And then this section up here where the, um, the square section where the headliner gets uh, mounted to the opening. I'm pulling these grippers down with a set of pliers. You want these as wide and open as you can. And you'll see why later on. Because the strip actually sits into those teeth. And you want to do it all the way around the opening. See how open they are? That strip is going to sit in those teeth flat. Now the TMI material is just a little stubborn sometimes. It's just not the exact size. It might be a little bit bigger. But here's the inside cabin and how I padded it up. So to give you an idea. You don't have to go this crazy, but I I like to because it gives the ride a nice, you know, nice and quiet ride at all at all times, you know. I went a little extra and put some padding on the grippers on the bottom. Again, you don't want to see those teeth through the headliner. So that's why I put it on there. Now here's the uh, POR15 that I always swear by and I get. And I put on my floor pans in my luggage area. See here, I put that POR down. This stuff gets hard as a rock and these pans will never ever rust again. Um, this is excellent material to buy. Just don't get it on you because it's going to be hell to get it off. So always wear gloves and long sleeves and wear a mask because this stuff is also pretty toxic. It smells pretty bad. And just make sure you're in a well-ventilated area. At this point, too, if you're doing like a full resto like I'm doing on this car, you might want to start sanding the uh, the shifters and whatnot and the um, uh, the e-brake and the, uh, the heater knob if you want to do any paint work and whatnot. Now here's a material that I always get at Home Depot, which is excellent for sound deadening. A lot of people use Dynamat, and uh, you know that stuff works great. But if you want to go on the cheap side and you're on a budget, this stuff works just as well. It's non-toxic. It does not smell, um, and you can pretty much pick up a roll for about 15 to 16 dollars. And each roll is about 24 or 25 feet by six inches. So one roll alone can do the rear luggage area. Basically, you just peel away the white paper and it has a sticky adhesive, rubbery adhesive to the bottom of it. And you basically will need like a paint roller or like not a paint roller but like a wallpaper roller to to roll this stuff down. Use an X-Acto knife and, and basically cut it to your length. I cut it basically to the line of the luggage, you know, where the luggage area ends. And basically you just roll that on to get it down nice and smooth. You might want to use the edge, the end of the roller to get it down into the creases. We're actually doing this on, a, on another bug here. Um, that's why you don't see the padding and whatnot on the, on the surroundings. But yeah, just keep rolling it on. And sure enough, this stuff will go down. And when it's down, it is down. It is very tough to get off. So once you do it, do it right. See, like I said, I turned the handle around to get in some of the crevices in the luggage area. Now this will quiet your ride. It basically stops the vibration. And it's pretty inexpensive too. I mean, if, if, if you're on a budget, if you want to go with Dynamite, go with some of the professional stuff, that's fine. But if you're, this is, you know, kind of a video if someone's on a tight budget and, you know, um, this works wonders. Uh, especially with the earlier cars with the 36 horsepower engines you hardly even hear the engine after it's, you know when you're driving so again you can start putting it down I line it up I go basically from either side I alternate sides until I finally meet up in the middle roll it on get it on good and, and tight get in all the crevices and you first start off, like I said, by hand, and then once you line it up, then you can start using the roller to, to get it down. And then once again, see, I, I meet up in the middle. You alternate either side, you know. Just a little easier to get down instead of uh, 
doing one side and going all the way across, then you're going to have to cut it. So, But that's how that looks. And uh, this stuff works wonders. It's called Quick Roof. I also have a video on YouTube with it. You could also go the extra mile and put it on the wheel wells, like I did here. That helps. And we're also going to be putting another deadener on top of the Quick Roof to even quiet the ride even more. That material that I've basically been using on the roof for the headliner is also going down on top of that quick roof to, to give it a little extra quiet ride. And I also put it inside the, uh, the door panel area. You can also do it to the front door panels as well. It, it's just, it gets rid of that tinny sound that the car will have when you're driving. You see, I put that padding then on top of it. I'm going to use that same padding that goes on the, on the luggage area as well. Just spray glue it on. Uh -huh.